Hello everyone, welcome to Link Frequency and I'm Ashwarya Pattar. This video is part of our new course which mainly focuses on Atasa interview questions. Each part includes three Atasa questions along with the answer which significantly enhances your preparations for the upcoming interviews. So without any further delay, let's begin with part 5 of Atasa interview question series. Well, we are back to our screen where you can see Otasa interview question part 5 along with the three questions represented on the screen. Let us quickly jump on to our first question which basically states explain arbitration in CAN. You can answer to this question in the following way. When a node on the CAN bus wants to transmit a message, it checks the bus to ensure that it is not already in use by another transmitting node. If the bus is ideal, the node begins transmitting its message. However, if multiple nodes attempt to transmit message simultaneously, a process called arbitration occurs to determine which message has the highest priority and gets transmitted first. So you can see, arbitration is a process by which nodes on the CAN bus decide which message has the highest priority to transmit. The arbitration process ensures that the message with the highest priority that is lower identifier value is transmitted while the lower priority message are temporarily delayed. Let's understand this quickly with the help of an example. Consider there are two messages that is message A with CAN ID value 30 and message B with CAN ID value 11. Now let's see which one gains the bus access. Considering node A with identifier value 13, its binary equivalent is 1101. On the other hand, considering node B with identifier value 11, its binary equivalent is 1011. Now let's see who gains the bus access. Node A and Node B both have the value 1, so the bus remains in the recessive state. Then moving on to the next bit, that is Node A has value 1 and Node B has the value 0. Hence, it clearly states that the bus state is 0. So, Node B has won the arbitration and got the bus access to transmit its data further until complete message is sent. Now, Node A stops sending its data as B got the bus access. In short, by looking at this example, you can see that lower the identifier number, higher is the priority. That is the main reason all critical safety messages have the lower identifier value in order to have the immediate action. This example is clearly shown in our Otasa playlist video. You can have a look to comprehend better. Now, let us quickly jump into our second question, which basically states, Can we send more than 8 bytes of data in CAN? The answer to this question is yes. With the introduction of CANFD, it is possible to send more than 8 bytes of data in a single CAN frame. In traditional CAN, the data field is limited to 8 bytes. However, CANFD allows for larger payloads supporting up to 64 bytes of data in a single frame. This increased data payload capacity is particularly beneficial for applications requiring higher bandwidth and larger data transfer capabilities. So, this was all about the answer to our second question. Now, let us quickly jump into our third question which basically states, Why is CAN called a serial protocol? In a serial protocol, data is sent bit by bit sequentially along a single wire or communication path. CAN is called a serial protocol because it transmits data serially over a single communication channel. CAN is designed for use in harsh environments such as automotive and industrial applications where reliability is crucial. The use of serial communication helps to mitigate issues such as electromagnetic interference and noise, thus enhancing the reliability of data transmission. By using a single communication channel, CAN reduces the complexity of wiring and hardware requirements for communication between the nodes. So, these were the three questions that might be asked in your interview rounds. For detailed explanation for all the three questions, you can check out our Otasa playlist. Well, this was part 5 video of Otasa interview question series. I hope you found the video insightful. For any queries, you can surely comment below in the comment section. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference.